Welcome to this brief review of the low ambient control installation. This is for modulating low ambient controls for units that were manufactured and shipped without the control due to part shortages. First, disconnect the unit power. Make sure there is no power going to the unit. Remove side grill and inner and outer control panel doors. Then we need to screw the low ambient control body onto that existing installed copper line. Once that's on, the low ambient control harness that's pre-installed can plug into the low ambient control and secure it with the retaining screw. In this shot, Louis screwing the low ambient control body onto the flare fitting. And note the correct PPE, the gloves required working with refrigerant. Be sure you use a backup uh, channel lock or wrench on the bottom of that fitting when you tighten down the low ambient control. Next, we're going to plug the harness in on the top and then secure it with the screw that's attached to the top of the low ambient control relay. Once the relay is installed and connected, let's go ahead and spray some leak detector on that joint and make sure we're not getting any bubbles. Next up, we need to remove the jumper that was installed from the factory that allows unit operation. And keep in mind, I'm going to show you two examples because it varies a little between models. So this is for the W18 and W24. We're going to remove the yellow jumper wire that's between the terminal block and T2. And then we're going to connect the blue and brown wires from the low ambient control to the correct terminals. This illustration is showing the setup for the TS, TH, and CH models. We need to remove that jumper between 2 and 3 on the bypass relay, and then connect the blue and brown wires from the LAC harness to those terminals, getting the color codes correct, blue to 2, brown to 3. We need to reach in and disconnect the yellow jumper wire that enabled the unit to run while waiting for the controls. Now we need to go ahead and connect the blue and the brown wire up to the proper terminals. The blue wire is going to go on T2 and the brown wire on the terminal junction block. Be sure you have Bulletin 8612-027. This bulletin has all of these instructions listed out with the diagrams. Thank you for choosing BARD.